England leave the EU, light bulb head fucks off. England get knocked out of the Euros, penguin fucks off. Looks like this country's doing a decent job of recruiting some gormless, spineless twats to lead them. Roy's melted candle face shouldn't be allowed back in the country. And if England's play was as expansive as David Cameron's forehead, we might still be in a fucking competition. Both them fucking cowards need to be deported. Don't get me wrong, most of the players were shit last night, but we had some special performances. Only these mugs could make Iceland look like Marks and Spencers. England been trying to make a decent meal out of fish fingers for too fucking long. We need to draw a line under this shit once and for all. Well, look who's at it again. Joe Tart, aka Kit Kat Fingers. Looks like he took a break from making saves, a cocky prick. All the theatrics in the tunnel like he was about to do a madness. But at least he's fucking consistent. The guy couldn't hold his piss. They need to keep a mop behind the goal because that useless cunt spills everything. Real talk, I've seen mortgages go down faster than Joe Hart. That fucker went down in instalments. This better be his last tournament for England because he's had enough chances. I bet he saves a fortune on condoms because he couldn't catch a fucking STI. He's got nothing to worry about. His hands are about as safe as your nan at Wayne Rooney's house. Harry fucking Kane, man. He looks like he's been sniffing that class, eh? Every time I see him on a free kick, I want to put my head through the fucking telly. Scores one against Villa, discovers here gel, and all of a sudden he's David fucking Beckham. Are you having a laugh? Goals against Villa don't count. They've had their back door smashed in more times than Katie Price. It was a formality. Catch a man dropping deep trying to link play, but man's passes were straying more than Max Brannan. And his head's longer than the M25. You better get in the box and put that to use. Harry put on that white shirt and carried on his Spurs end of season form. Man did an heavy and bottled it. Wayne fucking Rooney, aka David Schindler. Man's touch is heavier than Vanessa Feltz. This done shin pads are touch more balls than a Tory MP. Imagine we had the pleasure of watching a 250 bag a week professional footballer trip over a fucking football. It was pathetic. I don't think anyone on the pitch lost the ball more than Captain Fan Spastic. If he hired Liam Neeson, he still couldn't find a white shirt. And if he's not doing his usual window wiper impersonation with them left to right passes, he couldn't pass wind. They need to stop shoehorning man into this team. He's not good enough. Simple as that. If he loves the team as much as he says, you'll do us all a favour and fucking retire. Then there's Raheem Sterling, aka Fred West. Man killed everything he laid his eyes on in France. Roy was thinking, you know what, it's only Iceland, we'll give him a run out to build his confidence up. And we saw how that went, didn't we, Penguin? Oscar fucking Pistorius has better feet than Raheem Sterling. At least he can shoot. Man cost City 50 mil, but I heard they're willing to cut their losses for a few new bibs and some shower gel for the training ground. No one can't tell me otherwise. If man didn't have pace, he'll be modelling clothes for Gap Kids. Marcus Rashford did more in three minutes than this Don did in the whole tournament. It was like watching Robin Hood and his band of merry cunts. These men are stealing a living. And you racist England fans out in France, don't think we ain't seen the videos. And I know you've been watching because I got one, two messages from you. And I got one, two messages for you. So all you man with your fuck off Europe chants and we hate Muslim chants, next time you're eating your halal Turkish kebab, I hope food poisoning lights up your belly like Harvey Nicks at Christmas. Hope you shit yourself. And when your daughters go uni, I hope they meet man like Abdul in the freshest rave. A man takes her back to the dorm and gives her that Lengi Henry on that dead single mattress. Bant Sports News. Ransom Bants, make sure you tag a friend, share the vid, like the Facebook page, add the snap, add the Twitter, add the Insta and subscribe to the new YouTube channel, man's gone.